When FMS knocks it out of the park, man, they swing hard and knock it way out of the stadium. This is the FMS Futura Sport. It is a 64 millimeter, let's back here, 4S version of the Futura. The really cool thing about this is that it's completely the four channels you would expect, but we have a fifth channel for flaps on this EDF. This is one of my favorite size of EDFs to fly because you're not flying a 6S break the bank thing. You're flying a nice 4S, which means it's powerful, more powerful than a 3S thing. The Futura Sport comes in under $200. Now for most people, you'd be watching this maybe on another channel or something, it'd be $190 for the RC Sailors. We should have an exclusive RC Sailor coupon code in our description box. So please do me a favor, this is a newer release. Will some of our regular viewers check to see if that coupon code is actually working. It worked for us the last time I checked. I just wanna make sure it's working for everybody else too. So click the link, hit the coupon code, and just let me know in the comments if that's actually coming up the way it should. Should save you about 10%. Abby, do you wanna pull it? I do, it's been driving Go. me crazy. Go! Ah, uh, it does come off. So satisfying. Part of the assembly. <laughs> huh, I've been wanting to do that the whole time. Clicks into place. Thank you. Now these landing gear are I a bit- I feel better now. <laughs> Good. These landing gear are a bit fancier than other 64 millimeter EDFs. They're more robust and they have a little bit of flex and give. That is very cool. I love innovation, I love new, and I love improvements. They're doing one more thing that I'll mention before we actually test fly this. This will be a maiden flight today. One more thing that I love about this Futura, it's not just available in this red. They come in three different colors. Oh, that's cool. Why don't all RC companies, why don't all RC models come in different colors? I love it because if you love it enough, you're gonna buy all three colors. <laughs> or at least it gives you the option. If you're to Nathan pick. Sailor, you would do that. <laughs> Why I not? like that it matches you today. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so this flies on an XT60 plug. As I mentioned, it's 4S ready. I love the amount of space in here. It wants to fly on a 2200 to I think they said like 3600 milliamp battery. And then you'll check out where I have my receiver mounted. I'm using a very, very special secret mounting device that only our biggest, best fans even know about right now. We'll have that linked in the description box below. I'm not even gonna tell you about it until sometime in the flight of this video. It's very awesome, it's very innovative, and it's gonna save you guys a ton of headache down the road. Let's go see how this thing does. Abby, it's a beautiful day to fly. Just wanted to kind of see how this taxied. My left turns a little wide. Actually, that's probably the crosswind that's doing that. Yeah, we've got a really bad crosswind to our backs. So we'll taxi this down just a little bit and then try to get it in the air. I don't have any uh, safe or anything like that on here. This one doesn't come with the vector stabilizer. Uh, and I'm a little bit nervous for this maiden flight because I'm flying on a new radio. I'll talk about that probably at the end of this video too. Okay, so we're at half flaps. I do have some expo in here and a horrible crosswind, which is why it wanted the nose Ooh. over that way. We're going to kick those flaps off and it's feeling pretty good. Hey, I even got the jingles. So today I'm doing such a good job. Right now, because I don't have any, any fancy stuff in, I just want to make sure I'm trimmed up well. Nice long antenna receiver in here. That's a good she's doing good just get a little bit of roll out of that and it feels really nice when you maiden something if you don't have a flight stabilization to bank on you really need to spend the first few seconds in the air at least trying to make sure your plane is flying the way it should and trim it up and that's what i'm doing it even needs a little bit of down trim but it also gives you guys an opportunity to see how stable and tame it can fly now let's open it up there we go we're not flying with any telemetry or anything, so today we're probably going to put about a four minute flight on this just because it's a maiden and I don't want to push my battery too far. Climb, Will right? it snap? No. Oh, well, you're not snap. snapping. Let's go for it. Let's go. Put it over here. <laughs> I thought that's what you Pull were preparing for. Here we go. For a snap. Oh, yeah, that's really awesome, Abby. <laughs> wow, that was a great snap. So the Futura V3, the big version, I love how that flies. I think it's one of the best EDFs money can buy, but it's expensive. And so they've got this now budget version and it looks amazing. And they have three different colors, which I know I said in the intro, but I absolutely love that you have the color options. 
and it has rudder a lot of these budget edfs that are out you know we just featured a, a budget edf by arrows and i think that was 160 dollars well it didn't have rudder or flaps now this one retails for 190 so 30 more dollars gives you rudder and flaps and and 4s capability too how about inverted huge. but abby with our coupon code let's do a loop with us with our coupon code that actually gets it almost the same price as that new arrows edf nice. isn't that crazy yeah that's crazy that's really really good that's a good price for a brand new edf you want to see inverted flight i do Okay, let's do it on this next pass here. So we'll it upside down. Here, that was not the best place to do it. We'll do it on the back side here so people can actually sort of see it. It felt good, so I'll get a little lower. Feels good. Inverted feels good. I'll do it over the runway too. That's a nice inverted EDF. Sometimes you have to fight it. This one felt pretty good. The wind is picking up, so ner nerves are a little higher, but there you go. Let's roll out. Inverted's great. Let's see that snap again. That was really fun. Here at three minutes. Crazy impressive snap. I like to nose up on the snap just because it gives me some room to pull out of it. And let's do a full throttle pass down the runway so you guys can see this thing in here. Very nice speeds on this 4S EDF. Very nice. Not three and a half fast. minutes. Okay. Very sporty. They named it appropriately. The, uh, well, they call it the sport. To turn sport. Yeah. Okay, so the winds have died down a little bit, so this is a really good opportunity to land it. So let's go ahead and bring it in for a landing. I am going to go full flaps here, really slow it down, but also come in under throttle, a little bit of throttle, just to get a feel for everything. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad for that crosswind. Not bad. Oh, I really like how this looks. There's also a green and yellow version. They'll be linked in the description box below. You guys tell me what is your favorite version. And I want to show you guys that secret weapon that I'm talking about that most people aren't even aware of. It's actually replacing glue and some other tapes. It'll blow your mind if you've never seen it or used it before. So give me a second and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, it's an awesome jet. I like that. Now, very briefly, I did just fly and use for the very first time the brand new NX7E by Spectrum. This is about $50 cheaper than the NX6, which is nice. I love the lights on there. You can't see them right now because I have it turned off, but there's a really cool light thing. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, hit me in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Or if you have any things that you want other people to know about this radio, let us know in the comments. And if there's enough interest, we might even do an exclusive video on that. But I will do my best to talk with you guys and answer questions. So please, if you have them, let me know. Now let's talk about this secret special weapon I was talking about. And it's really hidden in here. You'd never even know I was doing anything different at all. But when you look at my receiver, underneath the receiver is a very special gelatin that's not a glue. It's not really a tape, but it's holding my receiver in place. And I'll link it in the description box. We'll have it on there as maybe secret weapon or secret accessory best hidden thing you've never had before a couple people know what i'm talking about now but i would put hot glue in there in the past and i know that may not be the best thing to do but i would hot glue my receivers in and i did that because i may want to pull them out and put it in another airplane and if you ever put that on foam well that can just rip your foam out if you put hot glue on your receiver it's very hot and that can damage that a lot of guys will use double sided sticky tape well that stuff's not very strong and I've seen it give out. And if you're flying on safe on a receiver, you need that receiver to stay flat and level because if it gives out, then it's gonna go wonky and then safe takes over and crashes your airplane. There's other methods too, but I have the best method in there because it's easily swappable. It's easily reusable if you want to, but it's about a $20 investment for a lifetime supply, basically, if this is the only thing you use it for, to hold your receivers in. I also use it to like hang up 
stuff in my kids room and it's really crazy again it's linked in the description box below now guys today i flew i made in a brand new jet that i've never flown before i just assembled it earlier today everything checked out really great on the ground and i was very impressed with everything it did in the air but i also flew on this new radio I've been flying on the same couple of radios, three radios, for at least a couple years now. So that put me a little bit out of my comfort zone when I was flying on this because it just felt a little different. Because of that, I'm really glad I was flying with AMA. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's an insurance program for those of us that fly and drive RC vehicles. Believe it or not, they insure ground vehicle people too. But I fly with the Academy of Model Aeronautics because I know if something goes wrong with this airplane and I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing here at the flying field, yet the plane loses control and crashes into a building or a car, then the AMA is going to step up and help cover those damages. So I fly with the Academy of Model Aeronautics because it's a fraction of the cost of like this radio and I'm insured for the whole year and I get an awesome magazine subscription that comes to my door once a month massive long list of benefits to being an AMA member and I would never recommend anybody fly without it so I'll have them linked in the description box below and of course that's near the link to this jet remember because you're watching this video on our channel the RC sailors you click the link and that coupon code will be there and it'll come in a good bit cheaper enough to make a dent on another like half the cost of a battery at least we'll take care of you guys so that's really awesome let me know what your favorite color of this jet is in the comments and please let me know is that coupon code actually working because this is a newer jet we want to make sure it's working on the newer stuff too so please our regular viewers take the time let us know did you check it out and was that working i cannot believe it's october and we've got this great weather i could actually be in shorts right now it's nice and warm and toasty beautiful blue skies we got to get out and share this awesome edf this rc experience with you guys for that i thank god i thank god for all the good the bad and all the blessings in my life and uh, i just i sincerely hope you guys are having a good day and at least you enjoyed your time here uh, in this video with us finally a massive thanks to our patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your awesome support guys if you're into edf jets and you just have a need for speed we'll have a hand-picked video just for you popping up right about now thanks for watching we'll see you there bye